Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be working on my engine thrust line modification that Tom Carr, the manufacturer of Excalibur, has been wanting me to do for a long time. Well, I say a long time, a few months, but anyway, um, here I am today. I can do it. Um, I've been just enjoying my flying so much that uh, I haven't been able to do it. So, But here it is today. I'll show you what I'm working on and uh, we'll look at it. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to raise the back part of the engine three eighths to a half an inch, just a small little bit. Um, so I've got just my little triangle held in position with uh, with my um, pliers here, and I'm going to take out these these guys right here, um, and uh, actually just this one I think I, I've got pictures for it. Sorry, my camera taking is not very good here. So yeah, right here, take this out and then just rotate it up a little bit. Take the um, um, tube out and then do some uh, re-drilling in that guy. So, All right, got my pilot hole started here. Uh, tiny little hole there. There's my 3 8 inch. Let's do this. All right, finally, my engine mod is done. Yay! I know it was a long time of coming, Tom. He was asking about it every day here it is so thrust lines adjusted up three eighths of an inch it's done pull is uh, about three quarter to an inch ahead and through the root tube and i promise this wasn't me but that one that that top uh, a and four bolts crooked but that was like that so i just drilled through uh, once you turn the uh, spacer tube one, uh, you know, a half a turn there. So there's the old holes on top. And you can see the angle now along the root tube, but the engine thrust is, is up. It's a little bit more parallel to the ground. Actually, it's just parallel to the ground, but yeah, it kind of is. So let's see how she flies. I'm gonna take it up. It's got a four mile an hour winds out there. So see how it is, excited. I uh, just went for a little flight and uh, didn't really notice that much of a difference on the engine mod as far as my rotation speed. I was kind of hoping that uh, with the uh, thrust line angled up uh, and thrust going through the CG that it would, um, that it would, uh, and it also introduces a little vertical component of, um, of lift down, downward, uh, vertical component downward. So anyway, I was hoping that would, uh, that would, that would help, but um, maybe it did a little bit, but. I don't know. I have to I have to fly it some more to to see. I think the jury's still out. But anyway, um, yeah. Well, we'll uh, we'll just see what happens. We'll get some more flying. It's a little gusty. You can see the trees moving, and, and it feels it feels a little bit gusty. It's maybe well, it's probably seven six miles an hour, but I could feel gusts. So probably hold off and then uh, do a little bit more flying when it's calm and see if it makes a big difference. Thanks for sticking with me on these videos. Hope you're getting some stuff out of them. So today I've got a new comm antenna installed up there. It's pretty tall, but uh, 
I hope this really helps. So I got that COM antenna, E-Series. Um, I don't know what the what it is. <laughs> Cobam or something like that. But anyway, um, I, I don't think that's what it was when I bought it. But anyway, uh, this is the new COM antenna. And uh, installed today with a five-foot coax cable that's up there mounted. And then, of course, down... Uh, down the dash or down the down tubes down to the radio. So hopefully this will help really um, extend my range because right now I'm I'm only hearing about two or three miles out. I can hear but people can't hear me. So hopefully when I transmit now people will hear it. So I'll give that a shot. And I also installed a new one of these guys. Those little pipe um, uh, insulators. Yeah, here's the uh, radio that I got. It was the uh, Comont uh, C1E21, the non-TSO'd version of just a straight-up, uh, you know, VHF comm antenna. And it did a great job. Actually, I just did a quick flight, quick radio test, and it was it was really good. The only thing, of course, I'm getting, and this is just because um, just the placement, I, I'm limited in my options. Um, but the comm antenna next to the GPS gives just a slight popping, a small little popping. Uh, not loud, not annoying or anything like that. Well, maybe a little annoying, but not, not anything crazy. But that's um, just the cl close proximity. If you can put them four feet apart, even better. But um, I could have put it further back, but again, it would have been closer to that guy. So I'd rather just leave it there. But it did great. Much clearer. I could hear there's like very little static, uh, no interference, no feedback. Um, it was awesome. So happy about that choice for 40 bucks or uh, 50 bucks for the coax antenna. And I think it was about 150 for the antenna. So about 200 for that, which is worth it. Here comes Bob. Today, me and my buddy Bob are going to go fly into Peach State Airport. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, just about a 25 minute flight, not too far. Grab a little uh, lunch, come on back. Here's the backfield here. The back half acre of our hangars is going to be, it is tilled up. And we're going to plant some corn and peas and stuff like that. So excited about that Scott Griffith did that yeah you know, I might do a couple rows of corn or something <laughs> 